This is a landslide along Illinois Route 89, just south of Spring Valley, um, just south of the Illinois River Valley as you go up the hill. The landslide occurred after a uh, period of extremely intense rainfall on the night of April 17th and the morning of April 18th, 2013. Uh, you can see the head of the landslide is up there. It's in glacial material. Just below those little alcoves is the bedrock surface. Uh, the bedrock is Pennsylvanian shales and clays. And you can see that there was a lot of groundwater flow right along the uh, bedrock uh, surficial material interface. And that is what triggered the landslide. You can see a little piece sliding right there. Um, as the video goes on, uh, I zoom in on that interface and you'll be able to see the water that continued to flow out. This video was taken uh, the afternoon of April 18th so this is quite a while after the landslide occurred. Now, the slide actually went across the road and uh, the Department of Transportation cleaned that up, uh, pushed a lot of the debris back onto the tow. Um, I wanted to see exactly what had caused this uh, get an idea if it was likely to recur. You can see all the water coming out of there. So a question, of course, would be where is that water coming from? And uh, is our other parts of this slope unstable? So I climbed up the slope, and that's where this video is from. Get a little bit closer look. And again, you can see the bedrock interface. So that gray material is uh, shale and clay of the Pennsylvanian rocks and essentially what happened here is that material or that part of the slide is where just a surface soil was removed so the landslide was triggered by the failure of the top material and as that slid down you'll be able to see it a little bit better here from the top as that slid down um, it carried the material out toward the road and, and stripped the surface soil out so this is at the very top. You can see it's not disturbed. However, behind the crest of the slope, there is a sag pond. Um, this is a rather old feature. There are some pretty large trees located down in the sag pond, but you can see there's water in there. Um, the existence of those trees indicates that it's not typical for it to have water in there. So the heavy rainfall put the water in there. You can see back behind the sag pond the slope actually continues up a little bit higher. So the rainfall uh, put a lot of water into that sag pond which directed it to the uh, bedrock surficial material interface and out toward the front and that's what triggered this landslide. And there's a close-up of that alcove uh, right at the bedrock interface and as the camera pans to the right uh, you'll see that after that material gave way it went scooting down the slope picking up debris and other material and there's actually piles of debris on either side of this slide so it went from a slide into more of a flow you can see some trees down there that got pushed down the hill and the light colored material is essentially an exposed bedrock until you get down to the bottom that material is mud that was flowing out toward the road uh, here you can see a pile of material along the side of uh, what had become a flow and that's my little tour of the landslide